I'm on my way to go move one of my cameras on a piece of public land here in Michigan. And I'm a little bummed to be honest with you because the last couple days I've been getting some good pictures of some shooter bucks. But yesterday, I got a picture of another hunter walking by my camera. It doesn't appear that he saw it. And honestly, he might be, he might be as uh, honest and pure as the wind-driven snow. But I've had too many things stolen and taken that I've just not, it's not worth it. So I'm gonna go set it up deeper in the woods and kind of more of a bedding spot to be honest with you. So I was on a forum yesterday and this one guy was asking what kind of cheap camera should he buy because he doesn't want to be upset if they get stolen. And I just kind of commented on the forum like, do you realize how ridiculous this is that you're having to ask that because of a bunch of other hunters would actually go out and steal somebody else's camera that's not theirs. And then I had some guy text me privately and he said, you'd be surprised who does that. He's, he named the name of a rather popular person, somewhat popular, not super popular, but that uh, when he said the name, I knew right away. And, and he told me a story about how he believed this guy had taken some SD cards from his camera. And he gave me a reason why he thought that. And you know, I, I can't say for sure if that's true or not, but I can tell you this, if I set three cameras up on this property in three different spots, and it's about, you know, I don't know, three or 4,000 acres, I can promise you that by the end of the season, all three of my cameras will be stolen. I've had cameras stolen from all over the place, several different properties. I've had cameras stolen from this property. It just makes me wonder what in the world is going on with the hunting community. I mean, every state you go to, people are worried about cameras getting stolen. So this isn't like it's just a few bad eggs that are kind of making it frustrating for some people. Every state you go to, every piece of public property you hunt, and some private properties, you'll get your camera stolen. I mean, have we really degenerated that much where it doesn't matter where you hunt, you're gonna get your camera stolen if you're not careful? You know, whole videos out there about how to set up a camera so it doesn't get stolen. I've done it. Typically, I set up my camera high enough so that somebody, you know, they're going to have to have a stick or whatever. It's out of sight. Um, and if they really want it, they would have to work at getting it. Because I know they'll get stolen. And that's absurd. It's a horrible, horrible uh, reflection on the hunting community. That literally the, the people that we're supposed to be, you know, hunting partners with and and uh, the hunting community that we're supposed to be part of are stealing their own uh, other hunters' cameras. It's absurd. A couple years ago, I was hunting with my daughters, and we were on a piece of public property uh, here in Michigan. And uh, this really upset me, because I know the feeling. We were walking through the woods, a place where I have set up a camera before. We're walking through the woods, and I see this white piece of paper up on a tree. And so I go up to the tree and I look and there's a note from a guy who had gotten his camera stolen. And of course he was furious. And one of the comments he made was, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best just to come out and, and have fun and enjoy the outdoors. And you're a blankety blank, you, you can't even leave somebody else's camera, you've got to take it. It really upset me because that happens to a lot of people. They don't have the time and money to be scouting all the time. And so they set up a camera here and there to try to get some video or pictures of, you know, some bucks or deer that they would be interested in. And some idiot has to go in there, some thief, and has to steal a camera. I mean, we really need to, as a hunting community, we really need to check ourselves. Because again, this isn't some just rare instance where you have a couple people doing this. It's all over the place. I've had probably six or seven cameras stolen. And again, this is on all different pieces of property, not all on the same property. I had the DNR, I was talking to them a couple years ago about this property. And they're like, oh, you better not leave a tree stand in, in the uh, woods. Like, are you kidding me? It, it's that sure. And they don't, they, they seem to be more interested in writing uh, tickets for, you know, people setting a loaded gun up against the tire of their vehicle than they do trying to catch the criminals. A couple years ago, again, on this very piece of property, I had set up a blind and uh, I set up a blind 
and I set up a camera in a spot kind of deep in the swamp to be honest with you pretty deep I mean to get back there you have to be fairly dedicated and I went back in this wasn't a cell camera but I went back in a couple weeks later to check my uh, my camera and um, I got pictures of these two guys back in there and my blind was completely destroyed thankfully they didn't see my camera or they would I, no doubt they would have stole that but they destroyed my blind for, really for what I mean did that literally make them happy that they destroyed somebody else's hunting blind and um, ruined a person's hunting season at least the spots where they're you know one of the spots they were really counting on I mean this was a I thought a very good spot and uh, was really looking forward to it had covered my blind really well and um, had a shooting lane to um, to a uh, an opening and these idiots knock down the blind destroy it and leave it there and uh, and walked away it's really it's pathetic honestly and I'm getting irritated that you can't even hunt a piece of public property anywhere probably in the country and if you're not careful with all your stuff it's going to get stolen for those of you who possibly may see this who have, have stole a camera it's pretty pathetic you should feel pretty low honestly and um, and determine in your mind that you're not going to do it again because th that's absurd some of these guys are just weakened warriors can barely get out and they don't have the finances to um you know buy good quality cameras and stuff like that they're just doing the best they can to enjoy what little time they have and you have idiots all over the place that are stealing people's cameras we really need to do a self introspection of the hunting community and figure out what we're all about you know, is a camera that important to us that we have to steal somebody else's camera? I don't know, and, and I know I'm ranting a little bit, but I'm, I'm kind of getting tired, honestly, of, of all the stories of what I hear people stealing cameras and uh, stealing tree stands and stealing other stuff. It's it just, it has to stop. And I'm really kind of tired of it. I shouldn't have to go take my camera and move it somewhere where basically nobody even wants to walk to because uh, if somebody sees it, they're going to steal it. And I hope if you're watching this, you're not a person that's done that because it will come back to you. You might not realize it and you might not think about it and it might have something might happen to you and, and you don't even you're too stupid to make up the uh, to make the connection. But I guarantee you something's going to happen because you're going to reap what you sow. You don't get away with that stuff. So I'm going to grab my camera, not even necessarily because of that guy, that guy that I saw yesterday. He came walking down through here into the woods and my camera's still here. I got a picture last night of some deer. Um, so he, he may be a fine guy. I, I, he's not necessarily even the issue, but I've had cameras on this property stolen in places where I would have thought they would have never been stolen because apparently every other hunter, it appears, is, is a complete thief. And I've walked by cameras on this property, smiled as I walked by. The, the fact that somebody would literally be tempted to steal a camera that's not theirs blows my mind, but apparently that happens all the time. And I'm, I'm tired of it. I really am. I'm about ready to start setting up some of my own sting operations with a couple hidden cameras with a camera that I'm willing to let get stolen. And then when I catch, get a picture of the guy's face, blow it up and plaster it all over the uh, all over every driveway of, of public property that I hunt. Because it's just absurd. And again, DNR doesn't appear to be that interested in doing it from what I'm seeing, which is kind of a bummer. But um, it's just, it's gotten out of hand and it really needs to stop just needs to stop because every single state you hear about people talking about getting their cameras and, and their stuff getting stolen and it's completely uncalled for so I'm here at my camera and now I'm gonna go ahead and some super thick stuff in the hopes that um, I can find a, a trail that is deep in this swamp and nobody's gonna sit there and uh, go walking through but hopefully a big buck will which is possible so I, I guess it's not a complete loss but it's just a bummer that I've I've got to move my camera because I've had so many stolen over the years that uh, this one probably will get stolen if um, if I don't move it. Here we go.